thank you for joining us for another comprehensive but easy to follow top list. Even the most seemingly simple product can prove remarkably complex, especially when you're trying to find the one that's right for you. That's why we put this video together. We want to use our expertise to guide you towards the choice that is best for you and your baby as well. In preparing this list, we've reviewed literally dozens of products, basing our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from others just like you. The final selected products meet, and in some cases exceeded, our high standards, so you'll definitely be able to find the right product for you in this video, saving yourself a lot of time and countless trips to the store in the process. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Baby Line Baby Food Maker and Bottle Warmer. It's compact, it's really nicely designed, it's extremely efficient, and it couldn't be easier to warm your bottles or make your own homemade baby food. Let me show you some of the parts and some of the features at the same time. This is the lid. I activated it by just pulling back and lifting. This is an adapter, and you're going to use this when you're using more narrow bottles. And it's nice because it stores right in the lid so you won't lose it. Here inside, what we're going to show you is the measuring cup. This large size of the measuring cup has measure markings. And you look in the instruction manual and you follow that and you'll know exactly how much water to use when you're going to be making um, your food. So the large side here is for food. And then when you turn it over, the smaller side here but this large hole and a smaller hole in the middle is meant to be used when you're measuring water to warm your baby bottles. So like I mentioned, it's a bottle warmer. In the back here is where you're gonna put your bottle. After you measure your water using the measuring cup, you would pour it in here. Then you would put the bottle in. And today I'm using a um, narrow uh, bottle, so we need to use the adapter. I'm just going to put that right in there and then what you would do is you would turn it on steam in the front you'll notice it lit up when I turned it to steam and what will happen is the bottle will warm and when it's done it will automatically turn off but you should also turn it to the up button upside to off when you're done and then all you need to do is remove the bottle feed your baby and you're all done now I also said that this is a baby food maker and you'll notice in the front it has a large capacity work bowl and that is four cups. The lid has a nice seal in the top. You'll notice how it went on. It's very um, snug and that's really important so that you don't get any splatters or spills and also aids in better steaming. Some of the other features included in this four cup work bowl is that it has a chopping blade and you just lift it up to remove it. 
and um, you push it down to engage it to lock it into place. When you're done cooking um, your baby food and pureeing it, it's nice because when you're pouring your food, say into an ice cube tray to store the food for use later, the, the uh, blade stays right locked in place. The other important thing for moms to know is that all of the pieces and parts that come in contact with your baby um, food or your bottle warming are all BPA free. So when we're gonna make food, today I'm going to show you how we're going to make some carrots. And um, carrots are something that a lot of babies um, eat. So it's fun, it's colorful, it's also sweet, so they like it. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna measure out the water using the measuring um, cup like I mentioned. Now this happens to take 225 milliliters. So we're just gonna fill that up. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to pour it right into the chamber. Store the cup, lift the lid. Now I'm gonna put the um, carrots in here. And I uh, cut them up a little bit beforehand. And I believe when you steam the carrots, it takes approximately 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put the lid on, start the machine by turning it on steam. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check back in 20 minutes and I'm gonna show you what else you need to do to make your baby food. So now that our carrots are done steaming, it's simple and easy to finish the process. All we're going to do is turn the knob to the chop function and we're gonna do it a couple of times to get it started. And then we're just gonna hold it on. So it's nice and smooth. The nice thing too about when you're steaming it in the baby food maker is that all of that um, water that has all the important nutrients stays in there and it gets incorporated with the baby food as it's being mixed. So the nice thing about this too is I'm going to show you how to do this. I like to um, tell people when you make a big batch of baby food as we have done here, you can do two things to store it. You can obviously use it right away and feed your baby or what you can do is put it in ice cube trays and when you put it in the ice cube trays it's a perfect little serving for the baby so when you um, you know have lots of extra vegetables you can um, make a nice big batch of carrots or string beans or whatever your baby prefers just store it like I said by putting it in this ice cube trays and then you can have it for use later. The other thing that's nice to do too is if you have, like to recycle um, any type of baby jar, what you can do is reuse them by putting your own baby food in them. So there you have it. It couldn't be easier or simpler to make homemade baby food that you know exactly what's in it for your baby with the Cuisinart bottle warmer and baby food maker. Welcome to Fresh Squeezed, the new way to create healthy, delicious baby meals at home. Other methods for storing and serving baby food haven't kept up with today's mom. 
That's why we've created the fresh squeezed feeding line that presses your delicious homemade baby food into easy to store and ready to serve squeeze pouches. It's totally unique and really simple. Make it, take it, yum. So here we go. Let's check out the squeeze station. It's the center of the fresh squeezed feeding line and presses your homemade baby foods right into squeeze pouches that make storing and serving super convenient. The squeeze station was designed to be easy to use and easy to clean with very few parts to clean and keep track of. Right here, we have the station itself, the filling tubes, a press, the squeeze pouches, the pouch spouts, and the caps. Let's begin. Start by washing the filling tubes and press. Take your squeeze station and slide the squeeze pouches in like this. Now simply twist all three filling tubes into place on the squeeze pouch spouts. Then fill each tube with your freshly mashed or pureed foods. Next, use the press to put your yummy creation right in the pouches. To finish, keep the press in the tube, unscrew, slide the pouch out, and cap like this. Make sure to label your tasty batch with the ingredients used in each creation, as well as the date. We've also included this magnetic food storage guide that can be placed on the fridge or freezer. Now it's ready to take on the go, store in your fridge or freezer, or have baby enjoy right away. We also have a reusable squeeze pouch that works with the squeeze station or can be filled by hand. Remove the cap. Unscrew the spout slightly and then slide the pouch in. Next, you press. With the press still in the filling tube, unscrew and slide the bag out and put the cap on. By hand, you simply remove the cap and pour in a puree like this. When you're done with your squeeze station, just remove the tubes and colored top and bottom parts. You can wash them by hand or place them in the dishwasher. Once all of the parts are clean and dry, put the press in any one of the filling tubes. Then place all three filling tubes inside the squeeze station by popping them onto the base like this. As you can see, it has been designed to keep everything neatly together. You can also place the entire set back in its original box until the next time you're ready to get squeezing. You can also add a la carte pieces from the Fresh Squeeze collection, like our funnel to make filling your squeeze pouches even easier, a freezer sleeve that allows for neat and easy storage, spoons that attach directly to the pouch, spare presses, and more. Now it's time to give it a squeeze and discover the yum. All products in the Fresh Squeeze line are BPA, phthalate, and PVC free. When handling food, you should always follow standard U.S. food safety guidelines and be sure to properly wash your produce during the preparation process. This video is not a substitute for the product instruction manual. If you've purchased this product, read and review the entire product manual before using this product. The product instruction manual contains important warnings and instructions for use that are not covered in this video.